So thank you very much for invitation. Uh, it is a honor for me, but also it is. Uh, in fact, it was reason that I came to this to this meeting because otherwise, with so much teaching in the beginning of the year, I could probably not assist at, uh, at the, to this uh, excellent and very inspiring uh, lectures. Uh, and it's a kind of a blow of of li of a freedom in 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 uh, in the research, something we were lacking, I think, in the last years. So it's something very optimistic. Uh, this event is is I I hope I think that not only for me or for many of us is an uh, optimistic um, event. So I met uh, René Tom only once personally. In the 80s, he invited me, end of 80s, uh, to give a lecture about my work on uh, real algebraic geometry when I solved some conjectures of Nash, of uh, his paper from 50s. And I remember that René Tom, I started to, to write a, a statement and in the half of the statement, he finished. Uh, <laughs> oh, this, this, this. So, so he immediately uh, uh, followed what, what I wanted to, 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 to say, and uh, he followed what the, what exactly what, what, what was what my, my, um, uh, my goal. Otherwise, I am student of Wojciewicz, uh, and Wojciewicz was a collaborator of uh, René Tom. Stanisław Wojciewicz. So I am influenced by René Tom via Wojciewicz. But in fact, I wanted to be like René Tom, to, to rather not, because I'm not able to do very complicated mm, computations along. Uh, uh, but I hope that I wanted to, to do this conceptual uh, uh, work, sometimes maybe they it with some success. Introduction. Uh, let us consider the gradient tra trajectory. So we have um, open subs in, uh, in Rn or uh, in uh, Riemannian ma uh, manifold. We have a C2 function, then uh, it defines a gradient field. Trajectories of this gradient field uh, are maximal solution of the equation x prime is, is uh, nabla f. Uh, so, uh, when we start uh, uh, from some point in U, and, uh, which, which corresponds to the value zero of parameter, so th the function is increasing uh, on this trajectory, so I assume that it's bounded, so it, uh, the there is a limit of um, value of the function on this tra trajectory in the, in the end point of this end. Excuse me, why is it increasing? Function. Why is it why is it increasing on the trajectory? Because it's a gradient flow. Is is a gradient trajectory. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we, uh, it's bounded, so that this uh, this limit uh, uh, value uh, exists. And if uh, the trajectory stays uh, in a compact set. Uh, and then uh, and we can also assume that it has finitely many critical values. Then, then uh, this, this is a case for analytic. Then this uh, y star is a critical value of f. And of course, x t the trajectory approaches the critical level. This uh, this critical level. Uh, now we consider the, the limits of uh, uh, the question of the limit of the trajectory. In general, this trajectory may don't have limits. It may happen that it accumulates of kind of limit cycle, which is when the, when this uh, this uh, critical set is not an isolated point. So one can produce uh, such a infinity function with uh, with uh, such a behavior. And uh, Wojciewicz in 62 proved that for a real analytic function, uh, there is a limit of, of this uh, trajectory. By why this limit exists? Uh, 
because trajectory has a finite length. So this is uh, somehow a reason, and the reason is that uh, can, you can take uh, Cauchy sequences, etc. So the existence, the, this limit is uh, transcendental to the uh, with respect to the, this gradient field. It is something which comes that uh, R is complete as a, as an, uh, as a um, metric space, but it's difficult to localize the, 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 this limit. Almost, in, on, let's say, precisely, is not not really possible. With, uh, of course, when we know that the, that this trajectory, is, uh, the length is very, very, very small, so this trajectory should be has limits at the, not far from the starting point. Yes. And this uh, um, this fact is a consequence of a celebrate Oyashevich uh, uh, inequality. Uh, we. He stated in in uh, sixty two uh, into, and the proofs were somehow included in his uh, IGS not uh, not uh, lecture not uh, sixty five. So it is it says that for a real analytic function in our setting, we suppose we take a, here a, um, a value uh, y star. Why star? You, assume, you should think that this is a critical value because otherwise the statement is is, is trivial. Uh, let's say you have a compact set and uh, it's included in you, and so the statement is that there exists constants. These constants are somehow routine constant, and this mysterious rho uh, smaller than one, such that the norm of the gradient is. Uh, Bigger than distance of f of x to the this critical uh, value, power the rho. There is also some constant, and this happens for uh, x uh, in, the, in this compact, uh, which are sufficiently close to to to, to the level y uh, y star. A local version of this inequality uh, usually it is written in this way. So we assume now that uh, <coughs> uh, that we are at the, at the origin and that our function uh, uh, has value zero at the origin and this is a critical point. Then this inequality is written in this short way. So you, uh, with rho smaller than one. And in fact, in Krakow, there is a, 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 a on planted near near the castle, the royal castle. There is a monu monument, kind of monument of Banach and Nikodem. Banach and Nikodem sitting on the on the on the bank banquet and discussing. And there are also some mathematical formulas uh, written uh, on this and this inequality is <laughs> on this on this. Uh, uh, what? Does, does optimal row is achieved? The? Does yeah. optimal exponent row is achieved? It's infinite. Ah, uh, yes, it is. Yes, yes. I, uh, the, uh, this, this, um, it, this is achieved. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, in fact, uh, the, the computation, exact computation of this uh, row is uh, is a challenge. I will later sp speak about uh, about some estimates. Okay, and uh, uh, okay, and uh, I think that this is kind of end of in introduction. Uh, aha, and uh, the next is the retraction theorem. Uh, so you have um, a real analytic function, uh, let's say zero set of this function. Uh, so there is a retraction by deformation on of the neighborhood on the on this set, and uh, um, so this can be achieved using this uh, uh, minus power of uh, square of of f, 
and so starting from a point uh, clo close to to in, in which this inequality holds uh, of why she uh, you can uh, the trajectory will end up and uh, the level uh, z z zero and you because of this uh, the fact that the lengths are finite and the, 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 this is a continuous map. This is a continuous map. But in fact, this map is uh, mysterious. So it is no longer uh, uh, analytic or sub-analytic, semi-algebraic or, or in many, so even, really this is a, a big challenge to understand this, uh, this uh, this mapping, and so now is. Uh, I will mention the, the two photos of. There is. I don't know who is the person in the middle. Mm -hmm. You can. Uh, you can help me now. <laughs> the, in in Bursarivet, uh, it's I think sixties or. or the, and next, I will show you also the the. the a summer uh, affiche of the summer school that they organize after they, they, this they they passed away, uh, and this is they they looked very happy in this picture. Yes, you see. <laughs> okay. So now Tom uh, Rice, he wanted to understand better how uh, trajectory uh, arrives at the at the limit point. So, so he stated a conjecture that it arrives like a, like a, like a C1 function. But it, this is not exactly the, 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 the precisely the way, because this is, so you take a seconds. And you have uh, the limit of seconds. Oh, and this is this is this, this limit of seconds. And uh, of course, you can imagine that somehow there, there are small uh, uh, oscillation. That limit of tangents to to the trajectory of the, the direction of gradient. The, the, there is no limit of tangents. So it, a priori, with this, for, this is a weak formulation but of the possible control of uh, we, uh, gradient tra tra trajectory. And in fact, uh, uh, in this attracted many people. I think in his, uh, in, his um, in the book, uh, Bilan, he mentioned that this, uh, that this conjecture. So uh, there were many, uh, many efforts of many people, but this is a completely uh, well, well. Our proof with Tadeusz and uh, Adam, uh, of course, uses Moiszewicz uh, inequality, these estimates of length, etc. But there is m more uh, technical and. Uh, study which I will not uh, discuss. I will state uh, um, a conjecture which I think uh, I, uh, I wanted always to prove this conjecture, finiteness project conjecture or non-oscillation con conjecture. In fact, I think Robert Musu uh, also uh, was, was thinking of this. So, Instead of looking of for for uh, uh, limit of this geometric limit of, of, of seconds, we 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 put some an, uh, analytic set, and our trajectory. I, I cl the, the conjecture states that trajectory when arriving at the critical point at this limit meets this, uh, algebra, this analytic set uh, uh, only finitely many times. Of course, it, can, it may be included all the time. 
So this um, implies this is a very strong uh, conjecture. Somehow it says that uh, the, uh, any analytic function is a Lyapunov function for uh, a gradient uh, trajectory. So it, it sounds uh, very, very exciting. And well, of course, I work on this <laughs> also, but I'm somehow well. I, I think that we, we don't have we don't have tools to to to, to answer this. Uh, in dimension two, there, there you can uh, exclude the spiraling of the, of the of this uh, trajectory. And uh, recently, Fernando Sanz, who, who was a student, who is student of, of uh, Moussou, he also worked a lot of this uh, this uh, subject. He wrote a, a kind of uh, survey, who, which will appear in the in the handbook of geometry and topology of singularities. Okay, okay. So this is uh, what I wanted. So this is very very exciting, uh, and but. I, well, uh, Next question. is it related to Hardy fields? The? Is it related to Hardy fields or minimally fields? Uh, it seems like Hardy fields. Yes, if you prove that, the, that this trajectory is definable in a minimal structure, then this is the case. So uh, I will pass to the, the to, to, to a minimal structure. So yes. So the setting, uh, uh, this um, setting of uh, analytic. A real analytic uh, setting. It's a bit. Uh, 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 clumsy for for some reason. So maybe this is not in the spirit of Tom, but to, to take kind of uh, axiomatic. Though. So you, uh, this axiomatic was conceived to to on order to uh, to find uh, some. Some good f general families of set for which the uh, statements, of, let's say, from semi-algebraic geometry, uh, can be trans uh, to, uh, interpreted immediately. So it is so. You have a family in each n uh, for each n. Uh, in R n, you have family of subset which is closed up the under set uh, theoretic compilation by, by these products. The projection, and it contains this family contains all uh, semi-algebraic sets, and this O minimal is order minimal. It is this this property that f uh, in M1 all the fun uh, sets are uh, finite unions of open intervals and points. For for in the rest, I will use the uh, definable in a. M means the member of this family, and so uh, I will. My statement will be valid uh, in the uh, well, any fixed definable uh, minimal structure, and uh, uh, of course this was uh, this uh, were well known uh, minimal structure and minimal structure very important was introduced uh, well, well was justified. Uh, by uh, by Hovansky and Wilkie, which is uh, adding to semi-algebraic sets a global exponential fu function. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, Grothendieck, uh, when he applied in the 80s uh, for um, position, Senderes position, in his pro research program, he mentioned uh, some kind of uh, generalization in, in this style of uh, of the semi-algebraic geometry. Oh, yeah, Malgrange showed me this, this, this time I was in the novel. And, and so, so the, in fact, the, this, the big part was done by Van den Dries of this. So in this the setting, it's very convenient to, to state uh, things. So uh, many, many uh, theorems you can find a, a, a version which is valid on minimal structure. But there is uh, a problem to translate it to uh, uh, in the minimal structure, in uh, the original inequality. So when the structure is uh, non-polynomially bounded, uh, for instance, this ex with exponential, and so this uh, infinitely flat uh, function f uh, does not satisfy the, this inequality. 
And so uh, in the nineties, uh, I, I, and the, I was, I try, I was, try, I tried to, to find a, a version uh, of this inequality, where inequality, which is value, valid in omnimal structures. And um, my ver version is uh, as follows. So you take this, this definable function uh, on bo uh, open bounded. Uh, then uh, uh, I think this is also bounded. Then there exists a bounded continuous uh, one variable function, strictly increasing, definable in its structure where, we, where it's m, such that when we compose uh, f with this uh, psi, it is uh, the, the gradient becomes non-vanishing when where. Uh, of course, this is f where the gradient is uh, non-zero, oh, and the gradient of f is non-zero. So somehow you have a u-shaped uh, valley, and with this psi, you make it a, a, a v-shaped uh, valley. And this function is called uh, uh, desungularizing uh, function, and uh, Jerome Bolt, uh, he from uh, now he's Toulouse, uh, he's in, in optimization, uh, uh, popularized the disinequality in, in, in optimization theory. Uh, so I think that people understand better this inequality than my shape inequality. Yes, because you, you immediately see. Uh, I started when on this? When did I start it? Right. Uh, so how how do you apply this this, this inequality? You see, uh, uh, you, you take two values. Ah, because first, first remark is this function psi uh, f composed with psi, the gradient of it this function is the same is the proportional to the gradient of f, of course. So somehow. Gradient with, which was vanishing in the critical points of f now is is uh, has uh, at the length uh, at least uh, zero. So uh, uh, you have you take two two uh, levels, uh, y one one y two, and uh, you consider the trajectory going from the with one level to another. I, this trajectory is also trajectory of of uh, this composed gradient of composed function starting uh, 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 um, at points uh, which corresponds to the, to this uh, composition with psi. We have the arc take an arc length parameterization of the trajectory. Uh, and we put uh, this f uh, psi composed with f on the trajectory. Then, uh, then derivative. This is a function which goes from uh, interval of the length of, of the trajectory to the uh, uh, to r. So since it uh, it uh, climbs very quickly. The derivative is bigger one than one, and function is bounded, so it cannot be uh, greater than the length of this uh, trajectory between these two levels cannot be greater than this uh, this number. So in this analytic or analytic case, if you like, as a function psi, you may take the function some constant uh, sine of y, and you take absolute value of 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 y uh, power 1 minus rho uh, f so 1 minus rho f is again smaller than 1 because rho f is smaller than 1 so this is the way how to pass from the general case to to, to the to the Wojciechowicz uh, state statement okay uh, yes uh, and now I will uh, tell you more about uh, my my vision of this of this uh, this problem. 
What are the Talveks? Talvek is, is the, the, this German name uh, uh, for uh, the way in the in the bottom of valley. Yes, it's, it was written th, but, but in English spelling is t. Uh, so you you consider you consider the points. Uh, so you take a level. You take t level. Uh, uh, and uh, and take uh, the uh, look on the on the norm of the gradients on this level of, of, ah, la, la. Uh, yes and you define uh, uh, this phi, uh, phi t so but uh, maybe i will uh, draw this 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 picture so, so you look on the points where uh, this uh, this uh, you fix some epsilon and you take the points uh, where the uh, gradient is uh, smaller than in uh, other points, is minimal. It may not be really exactly minimal, so you put some epsilon uh, to, to this. So this, this is a purely open set, yes, it is V epsilon. And uh, yes, and, and what what is the so no? This is exactly region valley set. This is not a Talvek, but region valley set. A Talvek is is a curve chosen in this in this uh, uh, region valley set. So it is uh, uh, maybe this is a. So this is what I denote gamma epsilon f. So this is not unique. Uh, the existence of this gamma is uh, it is uh, um, possible thanks to this our assumption that in the omimial structure we have a. Uh, uh, definable choice, etc. So, in fact, th this function may, may uh, this curve is not necessarily uh, uh, connected. Yes, it, you may you may have uh, several uh, components. Yes, so. and I will call it uh, epsilon Talvik. And th th there is a nice uh, statement how it is related to the length of trajectories. Uh, this was, this is in my, in the PhD thesis of Didier da Kunto, uh, my PhD student. So, uh, and this, uh, you may, you may think about the trajectory, starting from this point, going to this point, this level, So the length of this trajectory is uh, uh, smaller than the length of the part of uh, of this blue part, this blue part. Yes. And I think that this everybody knows this fact, but it's not conscious somehow. <coughs> So this is something which is beyond. You don't need mathematical uh, uh, education to to uh, understand to, to explain the, this fact. And th so this is a, a powerful uh, observation for to estimate uh, the length of gr uh, gradient trajectories. Uh, not by 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 like Wojciechowicz with uh, with uh, this inequality, but simply by the length of this uh, trajectory. So. The length of this trajectory is bounded by the length of this curve. Okay. 
Oh, so this is my picture. <laughs> Uh, hello. Thanks to, to this uh, um, comparison principle, you, you can uh, bound, um, for instance, the length of uh, gradient uh, trajectories of uh, polynomials. Uh, because with, when you try to use Wojciechowicz inequality, you may find a bound for upper bound for the exponent, but difficult to, to control uh, constant. But with this uh, uh, um, uh, method of uh, comparison with the curve, it, it is, you, you may understand how the proof goes on. There is a way to uh, compute this. Uh, well, maybe I, I, will sp I will speak about how to compute this the Stalbex, but very briefly, I think. So I can consider local minima of, 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 uh, on the levels, on the regular uh, set. I can, and this is, uh, this is will be Talvek without epsilon. Mm. Yeah, but th there is no epsilon. And this, uh, uh, is included, you see, uh, in what is called a gradient extremal set. Gradient extremal set is the set of points where uh, norm of the gradient square has uh, critical, critical points on the level of f. And it turns out that this set is uh, the set of the points where the and gradient is an eigenvector of Hessian. So you can, you can uh, compute the, uh, um, you, you can give equations for, uh, for theta one, in which they are, deg which for polynomials it will be polynomial of, of degree you can control. And in this way you, you obtain the, uh, the bound for, uh, 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 for the length of the trajectories. We all, you also may obtain a bound for the uh, diameter of semi-algebraic sets, which depends on the, on the on degree. Okay. Uh, so, uh, concerning this Wojciechowicz exponent, there were some, some works uh, of myself and my student, and f uh, also uh, of uh, uh, Janusz Woździewicz, uh, Janusz Kolar also gave uh, some example which so showing that uh, this are optimal. And uh, uh, so I perhaps this is the end of this story. No. Uh, you see this uh, uh, rho f poly for polynomials. No, this I will discuss later. So there is also very briefly I would like to discuss it. Uh, how to make, a, how to work with the discrete uh, uh, gradient trajectories. Uh, so we, of course, there is a, in, in optimization, uh, well, some almost trivial idea that you, when your function is not uh, not convex, you add some function that it becomes convex. Then you make of this. Uh, um, uh, optimization, you, sh you look on the infimum, and in this way you produce a, a, a sequence which uh, is supposed to, 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 to tend to the, to the infimum of, of, of your function. So we, we have done it with, in, with, the, uh, with uh, not with, uh, by added, adding uh, convex function, but by multiplying by convex function. Uh, so this is a oh. Yeah. So we multiply our function by uh, this type of function, uh, 1 plus uh, distance square distance to some power n. And uh, for, for, let's say, for uh, polynomial on, on compact set or bounded set, you can prove that 
starting from any polynomial, this function, this polynomial is uh, string, uh, strongly convex, and then you can somehow repeat the procedure. You you start from any points. You take uh, this uh, fun this convexification uh, fixed and uh, zero point, uh, and you take arg min, so it gives you a point, and you repeat the procedure. It gives you a sequence, and uh, it goes to the, the lower critical value of f on n. Okay, uh, and this is uh, uh, this is uh, mm, uh, okay. In, in, in to the to to show that this limit uh, existence of limit, you use the, this uh, pri uh, um, comparison principle. So, what are the open problems? The, the, the retraction uh, omega uh, from from the neighborhood. Uh, there are exact computation of maximal uh, of uh, maximal Wojciechowicz exponent for a germ of polynomial and variables. Uh, so in two variables, it, this is not uh, not known. Uh, also, to understand better uh, how how Talvez um, organize this uh, uh, gradient uh, flow. And also, in the in, you can ask in this gradient conjecture, Tom's gradient conjecture for 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 the discrete. Yes. Uh, well, I I wanted to to tell you something new. I announced it several times, but recently I found that I was I was too optimistic. Okay, so we start with the linear map from R n to R k. And I want to attach to this uh, with the, with the uh, standard Euclidean uh, uh, metric. And you want to attach to this linear map uh, some invariant, which is volume of the ball. Uh, I take uh, open uh, unit ball in Rn, and I take it image, and I take a volume. Uh, so this is uh, can be uh, written in this way: square of this new is a determinant of this matrix uh, times some constant to to make it uh, right. And uh, this is a algebraic function uh, in uh, for k equal one. This is exactly uh, uh, the the norm of the gradient of uh, of the i for. Uh, k equal n it is a determinant uh, mapping is subjective if the if the uh, if this new is bigger than uh, zero so uh, i i would like to stake analog of this kl inequality uh, for uh, these maps uh, for maps uh, so uh, Uh, we have critical set. Uh, uh, we take uh, some compact set, uh, and kf is uh, are critical values on this on this compact set of f, uh, and this is a lower dense uh, set, uh, set closed, uh, and we take interior of this of, the, of this uh, uh, compact u, u zero. And now the statement is there exists a, a, a definable bounded C, C1 injective mapping from some W, which W is an image, is, is, a, an, is V minus some small subset. This is a small subset, such that this new. So the, this determinant, if you like, or, or the volume of uh, balls, is uh, again bigger than one. <laughs> and why uh, I this uh, inequality is, is uh, maybe maybe non trivial? Because we have similar uh, uh, corollary to uh, the length of trajectories. So now I consider. Uh, um, k-dimensional uh, some manifold R, R, Rn 
And I assume that it uh, tangent to this to S uh, makes angle bigger than some theta with the uh, uh, kernels of F. So it it in the case k equal one, it it means that we we don't take exactly a gradient trajectory, but something which is close to the gradient trajectory. The angle is is. Uh, is bigger than the, than the angle with uh, with the, the um, kernel uh, hyperplane is bigger than some constant. Then the volume of this uh, uh, of this manifold is uh, smaller than than some constant, and this constant does not depend on s. And uh, the uh, well, 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 s uh, it tends to zero zero as, as uh, when the image tends to zero. So I wanted to finish. So what? Just to 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 make a link with Tom's uh, uh, form. I wanted, to, in fact, uh, to consider a, a, as a new. So th this is an Im image of the uh, of this ball. Uh, yes, I wanted to consider as a new uh, the radius of inscribed. Uh, uh, mm, ball, but in fact I failed to prove with this uh, with this new, and I think that is not not uh, not true. But somehow when you because you see, you see this the, this mapping uh, in the in psi, uh, it is. Uh, not bounded the C1, but the, the derivatives are not bounded. So you, you, you may, you may, it may happen that the image of the, uh, these balls are extremely uh, uh, long uh, ellipses, uh, but the volume, uh, but the volume is conserved. Not, not this, not this, uh, uh, this radius. So somehow some kind of uh, flexibility of shapes. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So that's uh, that's all. Question. Yeah, let's consider polynomial function. Yes, I mean, yes. Polynomial function. Let's consider the gradient lines. Does it mean that we can add them as a new, like a minimal larger or minimal structure? Or? Uh, this is a, a, a dream. Yeah, <laughs> this is a dream. This is a dream. Yeah. Uh, but because uh, this uh, uh, the validity of a finite conjecture is a necessary condition. To, to, it is to, to, to be true. Yeah. But uh, in fact, n not uh, maybe may it may be not sufficient. Maybe it it is it is more uh, connected. Uh, but I can make also some comment on this W, the W this mapping psi, because I I want to 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 tell you something to to Bernard, and, and uh, uh, so you see this function psi. <laughs> it is. It, this is not, not. This is function not in one variable. So in vari one variable function, uh, subanalytic or definable, it has a limited ex extremal points of intervals. But here they, 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 they and so I think that the the, the, the property of the that psi is uh, let's say let's think that is even complex polynomial. You it makes sense for complex polynomial that. This psi, uh, the, whether this psi is uh, extends to the to, to, to the closure of uh, of this set in a continuous way, if it extends, it should be uh, triangulable or or without uh, without blowing ups. But when you have blowing ups, you cannot uh, 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 obtain this. So in the case we, it extends. Uh, there is a statement exactly like in the Voyashevich statement with some exponents. So this is my my uh, dream <laughs> conjecture. Yeah. Okay. Was there a question? Okay, we sign.